Hi, everyone. My name is Mustafa Mansour. I'm a solution architect at Nuage Networks. Today, I'm going to show you uh, one of the use cases that we have, a uh, hybrid cloud security use case. Most of the customers, they want to go to public cloud, AWS, Azure, but they have concerns on how they can address security. The policies, most of the time, are tied to an IP address or a subnet. They are not portable. They are not elastic. If you bring up hundreds or thousands of containers and VMs, the policies will not scale with you. You have to go and reconfigure your policies again, which is a pain. Uh, same for micro-segmentation. When you have multiple workloads, how do you make sure that your policies are very close to the workload? And you can provide micro-segmentation in your environment between different workloads. So uh, this would be the topology of today's demo. Uh, I will go over the security features that we provide and how we fulfill the security uh, use case for the SDSS uh, working group here in UNAG. So if you look at our topology, we have two public clouds on the top, uh, AWS on the left and uh, Azure on the right. I have a mix of workloads. Uh, there are web VMs, analytics, and at the bottom here, you see my private data center, which has caching database running on bare metal, uh, ETL running on containers. Nuage provides the VRS, it's a virtual routing and switching component, which basically an agent that runs on the bare metal servers or runs on top of the hypervisor on KVM, ESXi, Hyper-V to provide the networking and the security uh, policies for your environments. Our solution is not only a data center solution. We work on data center, private data centers. We work on public clouds. But we also connect branches to applications. What this means for you is we connect users to applications. So it's not just about creating policies between the workloads, but it's also creating policies between the users and the workloads. In this example, you can give certain access to database admins only for the database workload. And same for data scientists, they can only access the analytics workload. You can be very granular in your policies, and we're going to see it in the demo in a minute. Every customer who goes through a public cloud, they care about encryption. You are going through the internet, so you need to encrypt your, your traffic. Noage provides uh, gateways, IPsec gateways, that are running as a virtual or a physical appliance. Virtual, they can be run uh, on Amazon. Physical appliance, they can run physically on your uh, private data centers. Today, I'm going to show multiple features if the time allows me to do so. But basically, here are the main ones. I'm going to have mixed environments. Public cloud, private cloud, VMs, containers, bare metal. I'm going to have different hypervisors, ASXi, KVM, Hyper-V. Uh, you can plug in Noage with any CMS, OpenStack, VMware, or CloudStack. We support all these different environments. We have plugins for all of them. Our policies, when we create them, we create them very close to the workload. They are bound to the workload. They are not bound to an IP address or a subnet or anything that's uh, physically static. It's, uh, it goes with the workload, so you can move the workload on-premise or off-premise. And when you have hundreds or thousands of containers and VMs and you bring them up, they will all be attached to the policy. So our policy is elastic in terms of it accepts any virtual port any workload coming to it. You don't have to reconfigure it when you go to the cloud. Our VRS component runs as a distributed firewall. So it's an intent-based security policy that runs across all your workload types, and they are very close to the workload. Once you configure everything, we have dashboards that do security monitoring for you. So you can see, for example, uh, the applications that are running on your network, the top talkers. You can do application discovery, know which ports are open in your network. Then you can go and tighten your policy. We show you access list over time, like number of uh, deny counters for each rule, uh, allow counters for each rule, etc. We also have a, a way to define conditions for the network. We call it thresholds, TCA, threshold crossing alerts. You can go and define a condition and say, if my network meets this condition, I want to take an action. And this will be automated and done on the fly. 
For example, if someone is doing port scan, you can define a condition saying someone doing port scan, uh, I want to change the policy for the attacked VM and maybe add an IPS or quarantine it somehow or prevent anyone to talk to it. So you can change policies on the fly. We allow traffic steering, service chaining. You can put any tool you have in, in the path of uh, the attacked VM. And uh, we also have encryption. It's an easy click that you, it's a button. You click on and off, and it will encrypt and decrypt, and, uh, uh, decrypt your, your traffic for the public clouds. And you do all that from a single pane of glass for management and for API. So let me switch to the demo. Over here, I have my environment, the AWS, Azure, and Private Data Center. Each one of them represents a different zone. You can see the different uh, VMs that I have, web VM, containers like analytics. My private data center has a mix of things, bare metal servers, the database, ELT, and cache. These are the virtual ports that represent different workload types. And this is my policy. I have five different policies. Each policy corresponds to a workload. So policy are not bound to an IP address. They are actually bound, bound to the virtual port of my workload directly. I want to show you an example of, let's say I'm bringing up a new container. How would this container uh, be tied to my workload? So we use metadata to tie a VM or container to my policy. Uh, over here in this example, I'm doing Docker run. I am passing some attributes, my NOAGE analytics network, like where the container should sit in. And I'm passing an environment variable, minus E, that stands for environment variable. And I'm saying my NOAGE policy group should be the analytics policy group. So when the VM comes up in Azure, in Amazon, in private data center, in any location, as long as it has the metadata for analytics, it knows which policy it will be attached to. And then I'm passing the image. I will click Enter. And on the right side, you see a container coming up over here. Now, let's say a container is being tied to a policy. What are the rules that construct this policy? So I'm opening one of my policies. I am showing that anything that says that's part of the analytics policy group is allowed to talk to ELT. It's not allowed to talk to anything else, even if they are on the same subnet. So you get micro-segmentation there. You can specify which ports that they are allowed to talk to each other, the analytics and the ELT group. Or you can use our DPI engine and select the protocols based on their layer 7 signature. We can do this over v4 or v6 as a protocol. And the action will be allow or drop. Uh, we also have the option to do port mirroring. You can do port mirroring for the entire traffic of that container or VM. Or you can have a port mirroring with access list. So you can be very granular in what you're looking for. The policy goes across, uh, as I mentioned, users and workloads. So you can define also users like database admin, which workloads he are allowed to talk to. We have security monitoring. So there are a bunch of dashboards that will tell you exactly which applications are running, what port numbers, and uh, which applications are allowed to talk to which applications. The rest, the rest of that demo, we are actually planning to configure a TCA a threshold, a network condition, and take actions like changing policies on the fly. So for the time being, I can't go through the full demo. But if you are interested, stop by our booth, and we'll show, we'll show you the rest of the demo and uh, the encryption and the other things that we do to fulfill the security use case. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>